All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So a while back I made this video on how to make your rear seat fold on a Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra because it doesn't from the factory. So I caught some flack for it. Some people got it, some people didn't. They didn't understand. Um, I was getting comments like ejector seat, his back seat is so unsafe, you can never put anyone in it again. Um, you know, if you have kids, don't ever put them back there. You sell the truck, you made the seat so unsafe. I don't know what you guys were talking about, but it doesn't change the safety in any way, shape, or form. So I don't have any friends, as y'all know, so no one's sitting in my back seat. But um, if you have people sitting back there, it's still totally safe. And I just want to make this video to clarify and go in a little bit more detail. Basically, it was a mountain out of a molehill. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with doing this, I don't see. You know, as a disclaimer, do what you want to do to your own vehicle. I'm not telling you guys to do this. I'm not telling you to modify your vehicle, make it unsafe in any way, shape, or form. What you do with your vehicle is up to you. But let me flip you all around and give you a little bit more detail on what I did. All right, so you can see here's the seat, you know, that's been modified. Uh, you pull on it, it's locked in place. It's not going anywhere, guys, trust me. Lift up, not going anywhere. So now that it's been modified to lower it, what you do is pull the cord, lift up, and then it all comes down easy. So um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because the other video was better, I think. It's got these little brackets here. It just slides down behind it like that, right? And the thing that slides in there is this. And it had a little finger on there before so that it couldn't slide over. And uh, I just cut it off. So it still slips down in there. It slips down in there. Instead of, instead of being blocked at the bottom, it still sits in there identically, the same amount. It's in there. Like it, it doesn't change the safety at all. Another thing I did was, this is the only thing that would change the safety, right here. It's got these straps, see them? These big steel straps, and they go on these bolts right here to stop the seat from folding forward like that in an accident, so it doesn't go completely forward. And uh, yeah, I took them off. No one sits in my back seat. I don't have any friends, like I said. No one sits in my back seat. I don't have any kids. So if that's an issue, just leave the straps on and it's still 100% perfectly safe. It will not fold all the way down like this with the straps on. It'll only fold to about like that. So it's up to you. If you got kids, don't do it. If you're concerned, don't do it. But basically you just pull the seat out you can see I can get in here, sit sit down, get in here, tune my amps. This is the main reason why I did this, tune the amps. Um, and then I'll show you guys how you get it out. But basically there's a safety strap down here, right here, the bolts to the cab, and there's that strap right there. And I'm gonna show you guys the bolts here that I took off to do this. All right, so there's one nut there. There's another one in the back back there that the strap's on. And then you got your seatbelt nut right here. Take that off. And then you got two nuts right here. Take those off. And then there's one way back in there, right there. Take that off. And then the whole seat comes out and you can modify it. Now when you put it back together, put every nut back on bolt the whole thing back down how it's supposed to be no problems um and that's pretty much it i don't know how much more i can say on it you know it's totally safe i got my subs up under here everything locks down um just make sure you put all the nuts back on especially that one that holds the seat belt and these feed back up in here you just jam them back up in there but uh I'll try to get it back up in here and take a picture of this so I can show you guys it's fully engaged when it's down. And you can see it's perfectly fine. All right, so when you wanna put the seat back up, basically all you gotta do is pull the strap, lift it up, put it back like that, 
drop it down, locked, done. No problems. It's not going anywhere. All right guys, so that's it for the video. I hope this clears some stuff up. My truck's been like this since 2010. I've had no problems at all. Um, if you guys think it's unsafe, don't do it to your vehicle, you know, whatever. But um, I've had no problems. So drop me a huge thumbs up if this helped you guys out and clarified some stuff. Leave me comments, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll check y'all out on the next one. Later.